Because well, I don't want to. Like you probably already started without telling me. So. Yeah, I, I did. <laughs> but you know. Right. So why are you even pretending to ask? I'm just joking. Anyway, okay. So just um, shoot me your social security number real quick, so uh, I can get that down. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Come on, time's no. wasting. Oh yeah, we shouldn't have dead air because we're live. Because <laughs> I know we're live. <laughs> Ah, uh, someday I'll get it. Okay, let's see. Going from live chat top chat to live chat live chat. Yes. How can they, it's just, how can they just be so silly like that? Uh, a welcome to those whose times, uh, whose clocks have not changed, who made it, hooray. Here's hoping this is the last time change, ever. Totally forgot. Well, for you, you know, it's not the whole world. Yeah. Well, no, I mean for the U.S. Oh, okay. Have you not been following this discussion on our Discord, no, no, on our patron-only no. Discord? I'm sorry. No, because I believe I have mentioned to you um, and to anybody else out there right now. I've had limited access to internet lately, so. Um, it's a struggle to keep up with things right now. Yeah. Well, to uh, to catch you up, um, in the EU, uh, apparently member nations do not have to observe the daylight savings time change anymore after oh, yeah. 2021. Um, and uh, I guess it's up to each nation if they want to stick with daylight or the or regular, and, or to keep doing it. Uh, and then in the U.S., there's currently a bill to move us all permanently to daylight. Um, and I'm very hopeful for that, even though I don't think it's actually going to see debate, which is too bad, because I think that there is bipartisan support for it. Anyway, I'm still crossing my fingers, at least, that California will be done, which will be good. <laughs> I just, I feel like it's, I don't know. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Um, I also was going to double check. I don't even know what today is, so it doesn't. Oh, good. There's no birthdays. I need to shout out on my list. I wasn't even sure what day it was for a minute. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so um, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, this, uh, this, by the way, this is just a fontified version of the of the little cheapy font we came up with. Um, the 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 what you call it the the carved one. The tactile? Yes, the tactile one. I mean, it's not it's not a real one, but, you know, um, it's, uh, well, you know, it's there just just so that we can remember it. It, it was it was a it was a really simple thing to find up. So I figured why not? Um, but if we want to jump to uh, this week's poll, we will talk about the real font, which we'll work on later. Um, on oh, our numbers, there's our number system, such as it is at the moment. Are you ready for the poll results then, once you get the picture pulled up? Oh, right, right, options. the picture. Oh, yeah, so anyway, this week's poll... Oh, yeah, I do like the number thing, by the way. Oh, thank you. Um, this week's poll is um, about the writing system. So we started with this tactile system, and this tactile system is going to get moved over to an actual writing system. Uh, and so I came up with seven options, uh, three different styles, and then within two of those styles, three different options. Um, and this was basically just a way of kind of um, moving, uh, you know, kind of like moving it to a, a tactile medium. Um, and it occurs to me, yeah, I guess the patrons know a lot about this, but not the live stream. Because, like, right. that's that's where I did the posts and everything. Yeah. 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 Dagnam it. All right, so a uh, quick introduction here. So we'll, we'll do it right here, and, and then I'll delete. Um, so this writing system, right, you know, it, it, it's, it gets carved in there, and it's got some of these little dots and swooshes, whatever. It was purely tactile, um, and so it was not pictorial. Okay, so like most writing systems that we have are pictorial because it makes the most sense. You know, you're just drawing pictures that you can see. But I figured with a tactile... Um, writing system that didn't make as much sense um, and so instead uh, what we have is basically the proto system that we had 
the vowels are divided into high and low. Um, there are three vowel characters. Um, and then with the consonants, consonants flip basically to indicate well, whether the next vowel is from the high or low set. And the central vowels have no written form um, at all. So, for example, um, if we wanted to write uh, tapahla in its ancient form, right? T, P, A, and then L, and then probably another A. So that's, oh, right, I just wrote that. Anyway, but um, there's Kanan, and then uh, we have, uh, this is a period, this is a question mark. Um, this was kind of based on, you know, like a, um, what you call it, an opossum and its whiskers and legs and its tail. Uh, so those are the only two uh, punctuation marks, just the question mark or the uh, what's or the what's it. Um, the little dot at the beginning tells you that uh, a new word has come. So like you could do I don't know. Uh, what 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 are what's a sentence like? Oog is right. Child. Child. Oog. Uh, Kanan. Oops. Kanan. What what does he do with that? I don't know, but I swear we have um, some sentences written out somewhere right up here. Oh, here we go. Um, if you want the possum to bite the child, mm. or yeah, sure, something like that. Uh, the child bit well, the possum. Okay, so so then ug uji izga. That's bites, but it works. Uji. Uji. The word for possum. U z y i h. U. Okay. What was its proto form? Um. Good question. It was. Um, the carrot, z i, and then the. The bilabial. Uh, okay. So anyway, you can see what happened here. I typed a, a Z here. And by the way, sometimes the dot means something. So uh, a, a retroflex Z is just that character, but a Z is that one. And it's basically just like a modifier dot saying like, this is like that character, you know, but slightly different. And so that's Z. When I type the I, it flips it upside down to let you know that that is E and not E. And then we have uh, this character. And then what was the what was the um, verb? Isga. Isga. Oh, do you need the proto? <laughs> Probably. One moment, please. In case you're wondering, there's no distinction for the value of a word at all so there's just the same uh oh i hope that's me i no i mean i hope that's jesse and not me oh no i think it's happened again can anyone hear me okay i'm like i think we're still here okay Except internet? Yeah, I don't know if it was me or, or you. I think it was me. I don't know why I'm having problems over here. Okay, we're coming back. Okay. I got the I got the proto form though. Sorry about that. Okay. Okay, proto form. Epsilon Z G A. Okay, so yeah, this is the same thing. I mean I can write E, but it's gonna be the same character, it doesn't matter. Um anyway, so there we go. Um I didn't. Uh, I didn't give too much thought to like spaces um, between the words. I don't know. Oh right, I remember what I was supposed to do. Uh, silly, silly Billy me. Um, what's the character? There it is. So you're not supposed to put the spaces between the words. You're just supposed to put more line. See? And so now there's more line there. Between the words. All right. 
Anyway, so that's what it looks like. This is just a very, very, very bare bones font. Um, very simple. Uh, because, you know, this type of thing, it's not supposed to be a font. It's not supposed to be written. It's just supposed to be carved, you know, perhaps if it's fancy into stone, but really probably into the sides of the caves. So just, you know, with a little claw into dirt, very, very simply. Um, the double dot. Can I interrupt you to say one thing? Yes. Totally not related. Uh -huh. But Magpie wrote the stream froze briefly, yes. right? Which we all know. Yeah. But like when I first read that, I thought Magpie was telling us about how cold it was because the stream outside it froze. I mean. But only briefly. Yeah, I know. It was. It was so cold. It was so cold for like a minute that the stream froze. Yes. It was and just, then it was fine again. Then it was just back to 90 degrees. Yeah. And so that's, but that's where my head went. And all of a sudden I was like, wow, that's crazy that we can use stream froze for online stuff. Anyway, <laughs> language is awesome. <laughs> Go on. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, by the way, the double dots here, I'll, I'll, I can, I, I should write up a little guide for this. But um, this is P. Uh, ignore the dot. Remember, that's just because it's the beginning of the line. Here, I'll put something in, in front of it, like... Um, uh, the oh right because I was supposed to right um, the the little the little beginning of um, there so like there's that one that's the like the beginning of a sentence and then no wait not that um, so that's the beginning of a sentence uh, wait 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 let's do this there we go that's the beginning of a paragraph there's the three lines like that the three whiskers um, anyway so um, that's P and then this is uh, fa, fa. So it has a double dot in front of it. Um, this is k, and this is ch, with a double dot. So um, for s and z, it's distinguished by a single dot. For uh, pa and ch, it's distinguished by a double dot. Um, and, it, and then in addition, there's just a beginning of lying dot. Um, but it will rarely, you know, interfere. I think. Um, anyway, so like, I don't know. Let's see. P, B, and we can flip them. Woo! Ah! ah whatever. P, B, um, what are some others? M, ha! How's that for Sklu, huh? Check it out. <laughs> M, N, um... Uh, L and R go above and below the line like the vowels, um, but they do flip. Kind of like R. Um, L, R, uh, what, we've seen uh, S and Z. You'll see that there's just a line thing, and also sh and j, sh and j. Um, and they also flip. Uh, um, what other things are there uh, k and g doubled i don't uh, know because as you're just listing things like i've also been reading comments so i've been missing some of the letters that you're listing oh, that's, uh, not, that's fine it's not for you i mean after all you've had this font for a week right it's been installed <laughs> on your computer for like a week and you've been yes. working with it yes <laughs> what else would i have been doing exactly what else what else could you possibly have been doing um, Nothing at all. <laughs> ha and ha. Ooh. Yeah, ha and ha. Uh, and the vowels look like this. So this is, um, oops. This is e and e. This is u and o. Or, I'm sorry, u and a. Um, this is a. Looks like a big X. And there's nothing for schwa. So, for example, if you were to write, I don't know, let's just say B, D, G, um, that could be a word. And it would probably, you know, you just look at that and know that it was pronounced uh, badug. Except, you know, with plus sound changes, it would be, it would end up being like what? Um, badug. Badug. Yeah, badug. Totally. Because it's got a diphthong and then a, right? And then deep voice G at the end. Um, you could also just flip those around. 
and you would know that that was um, the 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 yeah, right? And I, I think that's great. Yeah. All right. Anyway, but yeah, this was just the this was just the bare bones carving script. That really the only reason I fontified it was because it was going to be so easy, and so you know, might as well. Um, but this, uh, this is, oh, right, right, right. Oh, so the pole, right, right, right. Okay, okay. So then the pole, all right. Okay, so these, this was, there were three different styles I imagined for how this script might turn into a writing system once their vision developed fully and they developed paper. Um, one was more of a bare bones adaptation. There is going to be a slant to this one, but it's going to be a lot sleeker. Um, this one was just, I went full Kirby. Um, anybody who wants to dig way into my history, you might notice some inspiration for one of the fonts that I made for a group conlang that we called, ended up calling uh, Kenako Liku, that I worked on with, um, uh, among other people, Mia Sotoquist, and then like a couple of others. We decided to start like our own forum to do a group conlang. And like most of them, it petered out after like a month. But I did create samples for fonts, and one of them, this was called, this one was called Habsies, had a character that looked a lot like this because it just looked so cool. I ended up, um, I ended up, the only thing I ended up doing with that font was on my Dothraki website. I spelled out Dothraki using that font, but like in English, so it looks like just a wild font for English. Um, anyway, so that was that one. And then this last one was imagining like it went to like a full Abu Gida and it lost the top line, you know, the, the tail. It lost the tail essentially and formed new characters. Now within each of these two, um, there were variants where I decided to retain the consonant flipping so you'll see like A3 here, this is one where the consonants fully flip. Um, by the way, this is, uh, this is spelling a just nonce word, which was T-P-A-N-J-E-G-R and E. Uh. Um, anyway, so A3, you'll see that uh, the consonants flip. And same thing for B2 over here, which I guess that should have been B3, huh? But whatever. Um, for the other ones, I did different things. So like we have A2 here where it's like there's almost nothing that goes above the line. And instead, and for both of these, there's a diacritic to indicate where a consonant used to flip. Um, and then this one just had more above the line than this one. Um, for these three, um, kind of the same thing. Minimal stuff above the line. Where there was an X, now there's a little diacritic for the top part. And then diacritics to let you know when something is flipped. Uh, versus this one is more or less a full Abu Gida where the vowels have jumped onto the top of the consonants um, and are indicated in that way. Um, still no indication for the central vowels, which now, of course, have very real pronunciations. But, you know, um, it's, just, uh, it's just something that, that uh, came up. Anyway. Oh, and by the way, this is a full abogita too. So, like, this is a vowel thingy. This is a flippy diacritic, another vowel, another vowel. Um, anyway. Oh, thank you, Minnie. Yes. That is a good sweater. <laughs> Why, thank you. And a darn good color. A, a nice mix of colors. A little bit of, a little bit of everything in there. <laughs> yeah, I like that. You know, I own some sweaters. But for everyone's benefit, I won't wear them. <laughs> you wore the cat sweater that one time. I did, I did. Well, but I mean, that's, that's, you know, that's like a thing, you know. These were just like sweaters. This is what I used to wear when I was, uh, when I was teaching, when I was a professor at Fullerton College. I would wear those sweaters Do all the time. Do they have patches? Uh, no, they don't have patches, but I don't know. They make me look like one of those... Like one of those stuffed teddy bears you get at a boutique on Christmas, you know, okay. wearing wearing the little sweaters. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. Interesting. So you don't wear them, but you keep them. 
Well, way to call me out. <laughs> I mean, you're talking about half of my wardrobe here. Yes, I keep it, but I don't wear it. All right. I just, I know how long it's been since you've taught, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so poll results. Oh my gosh. We'll, we'll ask David more about why he's holding on to sweaters that he years. apparently doesn't even like because the way he's talking about them. Yeah. Oh, no. I think I disappeared a second, but I'm back. Maybe? Mm -hmm. Um. You're here as far as we're all concerned. Awesome. Well, my entire thing blanked out, so um, just my end. Three of these were not loved at all by the patrons. <laughs> A1, and then B1 and B2. Zero votes. None. I would also like to point out for those who are regular watchers but not patrons, there was actually very little participation in this poll. It was like 16 votes. Um, are you counting individual or the number of votes in total? Basically, if you just look at the, the confidant, whatever the total is, that's how many votes there were. Well, 37. Hmm, what? That's why I said, dude. Are you many? talking about? Oh, you mean no, just 16. One, the number of people who voted? Look, 16 votes total. That's the number of people, but yes, more votes than that's that. the point. There were 16 people who voted in this poll. We have more patrons than that. They were just like, eh, okay, whatever, so, it's a writing system, so nobody we, cares. We're calling you out for the sweaters, and you're calling the patrons out for not voting. Damn, okay. that's right. All right. Anyway, you said uh, A1 didn't get any votes, right? Uh-uh. Yeah, we're just going to bump it off the screen. Okay. Okay, um... Now, rather unfortunately, and I, I will say this now, um, the next lowest amount was C, which only got three votes. And I say that's unfortunate because that was my favorite. <laughs> yeah. And I really, really wanted it to win. It was my favorite, too. I thought it was the best looking of all of them. I thought it was the cleanest and the sharpest. Um, and both you thought that, I thought that, and the three votes I happen to know came from Barry Garcia, whom, if you know Barry Garcia in the Conlang community, is one of the best conscriptors there is. He's one of the best. We all thought that was the best. Y'all patrons, I don't know what you're doing. Anyway. <laughs> <sighs> um, okay, so just above that with four votes is B3. <laughs> okay. Oh, good. Evan hates C. That means that even confirms my opinion. That means I know it's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. B3 had four votes. You said? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Four. So, so, so that was. Out. That basically kills the Abu Gidas. Um, so uh, the, uh, that means that all that is left are kind of like half. It's like Abjadi slash alphabet -y, kind of. Right. Yeah. And A3 had 10 votes, and so the winner was A2 with 20 votes. Wow. So, yeah. Wow. A2. Is the winner. That'll be... Okay. So, obviously, I like the other two styles better, but... A2 actually matches my original vision, which was, you know, if you go way back to what, um, to what my original conception was for, you know, the languages. The Opossum language was going to be a new version of my old language, uh, Sedan, which had a script which looked similar in style to the A style. So I get, you know, there's that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I'll do some. I'll do something good with that. Um, we got a. I know the entire point of A two was not to put too much stuff above the line. We got to find a way to use that real estate though. Otherwise, why is it there? I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. But that'll be good. So, writing system is going to look something like this. I'm not going to say that all the glyphs are necessarily going to look exactly like that, um, but something like that. And uh, and yeah. And we'll have these these itty bitty little vowel characters. This is the ah, uh, this is the um, 
e e and this is the u the u uh it'll be good it'll be great i mean it won't be a c but it'll be great yeah <laughs> okay cool all right donezo now let us move on to language where were we last time because there was a very specific place we were at yes and it was this Rafed on page 10 yes we had an important note that i wanted to remember that i thought was good from pete bleakley um and i do remember it um because if you recall the last thing that we were doing we were talking about the form for our negation suffix um and thinking about you know because of course once you, we kind of made a decision we needed to figure out what the form was um pete made the recommendation that it could be onomatopoeic since we were talking about doing hiss recall mm -hmm. that would be fun Okay, negation suffix that will do phonological stuff to the end of the verb root and the beginning of the auxiliary suffixes. Okay, because we did decide on where the placement was going to be. Yes, which is what that is, right? Well, I mean, yeah. there is part of the go there, but yeah, that's the order. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, hang on. I want, to, I want to take a quick sidebar. So, so everyone was asking, how often is tactile writing used in the modern day? Um, so, like, uh, first, I mean, of course, Braille is, I mean, almost near universal on signage, right? Especially on building signage um, and elevators and things like that. Uh, so that's great. But I will say, um, and it's, it's functional, it's great, it works. Um, but I have, I will say, I have always wanted to see Conlangers explore the tactile space. Um, so, like, I'll give you, I'll, I'm just going to throw out this idea I had, because I, I, I think it's a really cool idea and I think it could work. I was thinking of making a language using different types of fabrics um, that had different textures. Um, and in particular, I was thinking of, like, making it almost like circles. I mean, I was thinking of felt, but of course felt has all the same feel to it, right? But it would be kind of like you could just, you know, feel the circle and it's like the outside ring would tell you one thing and then the inner rings would tell you different things. And it would be entirely based on texture. Um, I just thought that would be a cool idea. Um, I have no idea how many textures you could reasonably distinguish. Um, just because I've never, you know, tried. But once you've got that number, you could figure out, okay, are we working with, you know, one texture equals one phonological feature, one texture equals one phoneme, one texture equals one thought or idea, like, and you're working with a minimalist language. Um, it would be something that would be really, really fun to try out. Anyway, so that was it. Hard to replicate, though. Um, yes, it would be. Um, and Evan, I do want to address your question. The UR does not devoice at the end because the R was not originally the end of a word. It was actually the first sound of a word. And so yeah. um, it just over time lost the final vowel. So no, it's a word final now, but not when the sound changes took effect. And yeah. oh, Dark Horse said maybe a rope language with knots and stuff. Those, of course, exist. Uh, the the, the it's spelled with a Q, so I want to say Kripu, right? The, the... Oh, yeah, that's actually a dark horse, but that's in there. Yeah. K-H-I-P-U. Oh. Um, oh, and then Veronica pointed out size gripping language. That was... Yep. Oh, that was, that was uh, absolutely brilliant. Interesting. Um, incidentally, though, uh, something I couldn't do as well. Um, there were just things I couldn't do when I was trying it out at LCC3 because, of course, I have an impediment when it comes to whatever are you talking about the encrypting language i just couldn't do some of the things with my thumb or you know my my little guy that passes for a thumb <laughs> he's almost you good enough name it. <laughs> what about the other one <laughs> i don't know but if you're just gonna say it's a little guy that passes for a thumb then it needs a different name than thumb <laughs> It's so, it's so funny because I have polydactyly, which is an extra digit, 
but I also am missing a thumb. So I have an extra digit and one less digit at the same time. <laughs> so it technically just evened out, right? <laughs> Very nearly. But yeah, at least, at least after the surgery now I can pick things up and stuff. That's so nice. Um, okay, so let's, let's put some uh, verb forms and suffix forms in here. Oh, Evan suggested a thumble. Oh, that's really cute. Dang. It really is, right? 40 years, never had a name for it. Now I have two little thumbles. <laughs> that's really cute. Okay. It is really cute. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Well, no, I have five fingers. Five fingers and no thumbs. So... The, the polydactyly is that this is actually an index finger. I have two index fingers. So that's why it's polydactyly with the extra digit. But then I have a separate thing where I'm just missing a thumb. <laughs> so anyway. Um, OK, OK, so yeah, I wanted to put in the forms to see if our onomatopoeia kiss is going to work. Um, so where's our table? Oh, what a lovely letter. Gallimaufry. 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 And brilliant word you made up on the spot because I'm not going <laughs> to. And managed to get in the dictionary before you looked it up. I know. It's... I am that good. Well, you know, in the online era, they're just watching every YouTube video at the same time. They're like, ah, English speaker used it. It's in the dictionary now. Um, done and done. Where are our tables? Did we already put the tables down in the table section? Are you talking about our verb tables? Yes, and yes we did. Yes. Okay. So, bon, and then, t oh, s, s, right. Okay. Let's do bon, s. Okay, Bonsa, Bono. And then Is Gas. Oh, hmm. Um, let me just, uh, just copy these guys real quick. Um, and then we're going to want to get the proto forms for all these as well. Of course we are. Yeah. I know, I know. So, okay, so. Okay, so I know that the protoform of bun is that. Protoform of isga is um, that, right? Is. Esga. Just a second, I'm, I'm getting. Yeah, it's Esga. Um, I think that was the... Okay, so on page eight is the full list. So do you want me, if you just tell me which one you need, I can just copy and, well, I can see what you need. Yeah, you saw, so we got Esga, right? And we need Lam and Tour? Uh, no, not necessarily. Mm -hmm. We don't need lum. It's pretty much exactly the same. Um, uh, mm, okay. Well, mm. all right. Maybe we do. No, but I. Do but I know what the protoform of that. It's just. It's just lam. Um, well, I put them there anyway, so you do. Splendid. Splendid. Those splendid. are the only four verbs, right? Uh, just for right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Forgot about that other word you made up. Sward. Could you have made up anything more fake? Just because you don't know a word, David. <laughs> I actually had a student who always thought I was making up words mm. in class, especially with like 
terms that linguists use because sometimes our, our terms are a little bit crazy. And so I would say a word in class and he got into this habit where every time he thought I was making up a word, um, he would like do that, that finger whistle that I totally can't do, that he would do that and throw up what he called his bullshit flag. And I'd be like, stop, look it up. I tell you it's a word. And he, he never caught me. That is a very interesting class dynamic. <laughs> well, you never had a student throw a bullshit flag in your class. I mean, do a whistle like that? I, I would immediately say that's the last time that you've ever done that in your life. You hear me? <laughs> and, and I'm like, let's, let's turn this into a riot. <laughs> <laughs> applesauce project that's because i take my job seriously i do time travel to make sure the words that i want in the language make it nice by the way can you do any fancy whistles i can't do any of those no i can barely get something that passes as a whistle yeah you've seen like and it's phil jackson had this characteristic whistle that just made no sense to me he took his two pinkies and put them both in his mouth and <laughs> yeah that's what happens when I do it. <laughs> and yet he made a clear, piercing, loud whistle. Oh my hmm. gosh. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, oh. all right. Um, and then... Um, and Mateus, I wouldn't let that in every class, but it was just this one class, and that group of students, it just worked for it. All right. Every class is different. Yeah, you're right. Oh, see, many I can wink, but I, I'm not super good at whistling, so maybe the two, like, you can only be good at one in life. That's it. And then... Oh, we can't do this because we don't have columns. We can do this. Okay, that's bun. And then what is the proto... The proto junk that gives us um, our O. The proto junk? Yeah. Gives us our, our action one. Oh. The um, uh, schwa phi. Okay. That's why you were chattering. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't see Dark Horse's comment because I was looking in the document. Ah, uh, Magpie, wonderful. Um, I can wink but not whistle. Are there people who can't wink? Um, well, Minnie's comment was that she's super good at whistling but can't wink. But, and Dark really? Horse did a little carrot thing, so I'm assuming Dark Horse is in the same camp. And I said, I'm the exact opposite. And so then I said, maybe in life, you only get to have one or the other. So this was the conversation we just had, David. Can, oh, okay. Can you do this? Um, maybe if I'm not laughing, but not that good. But I, I would have to... <laughs> definitely not that good. <laughs> it would take... <laughs> not really happening. Okay. How about... Nose? Oh, yeah, I can do that. A little rabbit. <laughs> mm. Oh, see, okay, see, I swear that, um, well, Applesauce Project so far is the only one who can do both. Oh, no, Tim can as well. Okay. I can whistle, but only aggressive. That was an ingressive? Yeah. That's impressive. I don't know how to do it the other way. I mean, you can do it that way, but it sounds terrible. But only sometimes. It sounds like a little kid trying to whistle, but, you know, ingressive. <laughs> okay, that time it was all, okay, whatever. <clears throat> okay, that, now it's getting a little, okay, hold on. Mm -mm. 
like you're in such a like just, concentrated just... trance right now. <laughs> okay, okay. And Alk, yes, I think you are a superhuman. Okay. And you need a superhero name. And I agree, up carrot is a great verb. Nice, Dark Horse. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Back okay. to his. Yeah, so, like, if it was going to be onomatopoeic, onomatopoeic, like, I pretty much came up with, you know, in other words, barred I S. Like, what else would you do, right? Unless you did X barred I X. Oh, with no, with no S in it. So, like, right. Right. Because I think when animals right. hiss, don't they pretty much keep a steady state? The Hang on. Bibleridian, do they s hiss or do they ha hiss? We need to know. Bibleridian or Logan? Logaridian. Now while we wait, let's enjoy some water. <laughs> I thought you were already reaching for a copy cone. I was like, what have we accomplished yet, Nathan? <laughs> Oh, Logan and Bib are both on it. Thank you. Mm. Ah, you are the best. Nice. Little product placement here, because I do love this Hydro Flask. Oh. Ah. I love it. Camelback. It keeps my water at the same temperature all day long. The amazing brand with only one C. I, I love it so much. Two. I got another one that's giant. Really? For for what purpose? I like they're both right there. Oh, because I go through that much water in a day. Why don't you just refill it? Filtered water. Ah, I see. Hmm. So. <laughs> I guess. You don't do filtered water? <laughs> I mean, I do. I do. Like, I do. But I know intellectually in my head, in most places in the United States, the water out of the tap is just fine. You know? Sure, it could be. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, okay. Probably a throat hiss. Okay. Apparently, real life opossums have paralinguistic clicks in child directed speech when they're talking to their little what? ones. What? That's cute. That is amazing. Okay. And Bib says it sounds like there's a lateral involved. <laughs> says XIX seems like a better form because it would do more stuff. Mm. I see that, uh, that that Graham has a refined taste. little mixing going on there. It's, it's got to be a, a very fine balance. <laughs> Logan says it definitely sounds lateral, but it's difficult to see where the tongue is positioned, and Bibleridian says that sounds pretty spot on. Nice. Oh, wait, I think he's saying that sounds pretty spot on to your, your hiss. Yeah, yeah. Do your hiss again? Yeah. I like how I ask, do you want to do your hiss again? You say yeah, and then you sit there. I want to make sure it sounds just as good this time. Here we go. <laughs> nope. Terrible. <laughs> okay. So when you're doing that, do you feel like you're doing like an X, I, and then something that would be like that? Oh, I'm doing this. I'll, I'll, show, you, I'll, show, you, I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. Um, and uh, where's the... Um, hold on. We're going to do this right. We're going to do this right. Because it's got to be voiceless? Mm, that is voiceless. Oh, yeah. You're right. <laughs> Good job, David. This is what I was doing. Ah. So they're, they're, they're simultaneous. 
So you make the lateral fricative, you know, ah, but you raise the back of your tongue to make at the same time. It's very difficult. <laughs> Sounds like something stuck in like an ice maker. <laughs> nice. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so what do you want to do with that information? Trill, trill John. Trill John. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that's right. Now Jesse's turn. Thank you, Minnie. No. <laughs> Wait. Oh, there's the comment. It popped up a second later for me. I've written uh, an IPA. Just do that. Just do that. That's, that's all. I, I would have to, like, turn off all the speakers I've got. <laughs> Minnie and all of your bows turning against me. Try it. Um, <laughs> Try it. Try it. Try it. Try it. Try Logan it. says, I can't find any specific investigation of possum articulation, except the growls definitely come from the throat. Hisses are always mentioned in connection with growls. Makes me think they are throat sourced, but maybe not in terms of human articulation. It's got to be lateral. But, you know, possum vocal tracts are different. Mm -hmm. um, ah! Now you know how it feels when you call on your students. Mm. Um, but our talk, I always ask for volunteers first, and I usually don't have full class answers. I usually go table by table and warn them what they'll be asked several minutes in advance. And then, of course, uh, you also, uh, when you have class readings, you read them in class and do popcorn reading, right? And I do what? Popcorn reading. <laughs> no. Um, okay, so, what do you want to do with this information? I want to hear your version <laughs> of the opossum hiss. I'm not, just, I'm not sure. Just imagine, just imagine your tongue doing this, okay? That's mm -hmm. all. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> That's as good as I can do, I think. That was a fair attempt. <laughs> I had to think so hard about this. Oh, babies make sneezing noises to make adult, to get adults' attention. I'm sorry. Oh, it was... No! no I, Darn it! No. It's much more interesting that babies make sneezing noises. That's so cute. It is. Okay, so... This is... This is... This is some things that we could do. We could just go with something like... That or that by itself... We could go with something like, what would happen if you just threw that in there? W would something get inserted? Let's see. It would have to, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's what I thought. Eesh. Wow. Okay. This, this would eventually become this. Um, could also actually make the proto form that east, 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 east. Yeah. What would the modern form of that be? Let me just throw that barred eye in there and see what the difference is. Same thing. Wouldn't matter. Uh, it also comes out as ich. Alistair is asking if it could be analyzed as a velarized lateral fricative. Hmm. I mean, I, I don't know if you want, but that we're not going to have a place for that in this language. Uh, I'm not. I'm not feeling like you know. There's this phoneme, and it only exists in one word. I'm not feeling that right now. Um, Minnie likes the one you've highlighted. 
Evan likes it as well. And hello, Vinin. Hello. All right. Well, let us discuss the protoform because it's going to make a big difference. In other words, if we want to start it off, if we want it to be just this, then that's going to be quite a bit different than if it has that vowel in front. Uh, no, actually, Sedan was not supposed to be Arabic esque. Uh, wasn't my getting it. It had it was it had two verbs at the beginning and the end of the of the sentence. It took a it's quite a trick to get that and to work. Alk is asking what the ix form would become. Now let's let's do all of them. Um, ix would become uh, xi would become ch. Hmm. I feel like there needs to be a fricative at the end. Hmm. Yeah. So xi for me would be out. Um, I did, uh, I did give a talk about Sedan. It was at LCC2, and that is online, so you can see that. Um, now, of course, what the actual modern form is doesn't matter so much because that's really just going to give us the verb for hiss. In fact, who knows? We might even reduplicate it to give us the modern word for hiss um, with no actual reflex of the bare proto root. Um, so it doesn't matter what it ends up as because we're going to insert them into these verbs, and that's what's going to matter. Um, so... I would like to know what happens if there is no vowel versus if there is a vowel, um, how different that, uh, differently that affects the modern forms. Let's, let's give it a shot. Um, start with ban. Uh, and of course you mean the LX version, not the um, IX version, right? I was referring to the LX and the ILX. I think that um, with the the sort of lateral noise that we were mm -hmm. getting, I think it's nice to try to throw that L in there. And yeah, Minnie, this would be for the negative suffix. Oh yeah, Benin, we have, um, we already finished the manner prefixes, right? Like I'm not just making that up. Right, oh my goodness, okay. that is quite a difference. Um, I'm trying to figure out the best way because I know that this is uh, the type is a little small when I'm over here. Um, I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. I could uh, increase the font size and zoom in, or I could just copy and paste everything over. I mean, today I can see because I'm on my big computer. <laughs> <laughs> I like how we ended up with N Y S Y S Y. You like that, huh? <laughs> I mean, it's obviously it's not going to stay, but so it's it's just going to come as you know, banche, banche, versus bancha. Um, and this one, banokse, banokse, banok, banokho, banokha. My goodness, that's it. That's a gigantic difference. Um, okay, so that's that's a little wow. bit hard to make out. So let's let's write them here. That is obviously what we have to do, right? Yeah. Hold on. The the one that's crazy. I mean, they're both crazy, to be honest. Like just in different ways. So um, this is with vowel. We ended up getting a palatalizing thing going on. Ban two. Sorry. Um, and then. Yeah. And then.
Okay, so here, here we go. This is going to be a lot clearer. With the vowel, you end up with banche and banche uh, for the negation of banze and bane. In fact, we'll, should we... Here, hold on a sec. Uh, I was going to say, do you want me to just type the, well, you're over there now. Okay, there we go. So the positive, remember, banzi. Negative with a vowel, banzi. Negative without a vowel, banzi. And then uh, the other one, bana, banzi versus banzi. When I say ragdoll, we didn't start early. It's that our time changed in the United States. Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah. Everyone will be back on the same time schedule in like a week. Yeah. Um, what are your okay, thoughts so, so far? Did you want to do like a comment or vote? or? No, I, I'd like to hear your comments first. Oh, mine? Yeah. Um, one, I actually like both. Okay. Um, but it's just so crazy that why not have Banuxa? 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 Oh, Alk says we should try with Izgat as well. That's not a bad idea. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and do that. Um, so that is Isgas, right? Isgas? Yes. And then, what's the other it's one? Isga. With an A? Yeah, stress on the A. Got it. Okay. Um, and that proto form is... Oh, wait, sorry, the other one, too. Interesting. Is that Izgalski? Izgal? Izgalksi. And over here, we end up with an issue that we still haven't dealt with, which is when two vowels come next to each other, what happens? Have we just been avoiding letting that happen? Yes. Yes, we have. Okay. We've been very specifically and cleverly sidestepping it every single time that that issue could possibly come up. And so what do you want to do now? I don't know. Um, Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And if you put it in the, in Luxergy, it's just going to come out it's still just, there, right? Like it's not going to do anything, but. Yeah. It it's just the two vowels next to each other. Um, and the exact same endings, by the way, uh, as we have over here. Okay. Um, what do you think the possums would have done with vowel side by side? Uh, so my my feeling in this particular instance, so like you know with this with these verbs is that the 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 central vowel is just going to get lost I mean that makes sense
I don't know if I'd feel the same with every single one. Let's see what happens with this one. Uh, Kura. So, jeez. Oh, What's gonna happen if um? Oh, what? I sorry, I didn't see why you're. That's weird. Oh, because palatalization is like taking over the entire thing. It's not actually, it's stopping. Um, oh yeah, kiss. Thank you. And we have the same issue uh, with the the with the vowel version, and then we without the vowel version, we're getting. <laughs> We're getting L serving as the nucleus. Chirksa and Chirksa uh, versus Chirksa. Uh, Chirksa. Chirksa. Wow. Yeah. Stress isn't. That's why. Sorry, in my head, I'm yeah. thinking, why in the world does it go from two root to two? It's because of the stress. Okay. Aka um, suggesting a long vowel. Um, I don't see that necessarily. Artok, what are you saying? No, none of that, too. <laughs> Um, probably to the the uh, sonorant L serving as the nucleus. I feel like there almost has to be a vowel there. I mean, I mean, the, I mean uh, it doesn't have to be. But. Yeah. Or is it So I'll slow it down. And then, were you gonna do the other one too? Slide down. Um, chirksa, chirksa, chirksa. So you you get that nucleic burst. You get it on the retroflex L. Chirksa. Mm -hmm. I mean, whatever, whatever David is doing there with his tongue, I'm not a fan. <laughs> so if you could just go ahead and stop that. Yeah. Vinan is not on board. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't... Well, okay. I, I, it feels like everybody, including you, is leaning vowel. Um, now, I know you liked the idea of having the L in there, but of course, we would still get the L over here. Yeah. We're only losing it here, which now I'm wondering why we're... I was actually wondering why, too, and I was trying to um, work through that. And other than the fact that it turns the N palatal because that vowel, yeah. when it gets lost, is going to palatalize the N, which then means you have a palatal N next to the L um, that 
LX, and both of those are going to be palatalized too. Yeah. I mean, that's that's really it, right? It's just because everything's becoming palatalized. Yeah. yeah. So it's because of the final consonant. And that's kind of interesting, where you have like these final consonants that end up with really nice little clusters, and then the vowel final ones that end up with monstrosities. Oh yeah, we have syllabic consonants all the all over the place. I mean, have you forgotten about these words? Look at them. Kudlbansur. Kudlatur. These are These are these are wonderful words. And they just roll up the tongue. Kudlbansur. Well, hi, kitty cat. I say I hear one of them. Come, my precious cat. Everybody wants to see you. Come here. Oh, my precious cat. You did the clicks wrong, that's why. Oh, the my goodness. Not oh, right. my goodness. There she is. There's my precious baby kitty. Oh. Mm. Um, Megan wants to know what the negative of those would be. Negative? Yeah, we'll get there. Um, but it actually, that, it would only affect the, the ending part. So. I mean, I love, I love how patient your cat is. Because. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. I know this is, this is. Kelly slash Kitty? Yes, yes it is. Mm. Roman is gray and would not tolerate David making him dance. He would for a time. Nor would he tolerate a stomach rub. He would for a time, but you'd get punished for it later. Mm. Oh, my precious cat. Mm. My uh, little fluffkin. My little love. Mm. Okay. Oh, you say we could combine them, mwa ha ha ha. What do you mean by that? Do you mean combine the strategies? Okay. So, hmm. now let's let's just take a moment to see if we did go with this, what would happen with each vowel if we wanted to do anything differently. Because it feels okay. like this should go to that, and this should go there. So um, that the uh, bard eye is just getting swallowed. So he's got s, he's got s, and he's got h. All right. And then with this one, what we end up with over here is a sequence of schwa followed by uh. Wouldn't the be stronger? I mean, but it's it's a stressed schwa, right? Oh, and then the, because the part it, I would be unstressed. Yeah, so. because it's the root, right? It's the root of the verb. Um, Why were we moving stress to the auxiliaries? Um, only for this one. Okay. So only for the the oof. And we're moving it there because it ends in a consonant. Because of the H that we don't see anymore. Yeah. That is right. Okay. <laughs> oh, kitty. You came here for a reason. You came here for love, and I'm giving it to you. And Magpie, go for it. You mm -hmm. don't need to be able to pronounce everything you make. 
And after all, if it's a purely visual language, you'll never be able to pronounce it. It won't have a phonetic component. That, that's what this language is for me. It's purely visual. <laughs> <laughs> all right, kitty cat. Little fiend. Okay. okay, so what would we... Oh, wait. Um, so the schwa would end up being maintained. Yep. Let me... Um... We jump to our sound changes real quick. And also, to be fair, I don't um, pronounce things in my native language correctly half the time. So, you don't even have to be able to pronounce any language correctly. In stress position. Okay. Regardless, this is definitely going to be doing interesting things to the words, and that's what you want. Yeah. Yeah. Very exciting. It is. Um, mm -hmm. So, I'm stressed. Artak, don't I say everything cheekily? <laughs> Hmm. Okay. So, um, oh. Uh, are you still at the top of the document? I'm still in the list, yes. On page 11. It's not letting me... Oh, there we go. There, okay. Um, hmm. So, uh, hmm. So um, here, this is this was a schwa, and it's stressed. And what would happen to a stressed schwa is it would just surface as a. Uh. But here, the schwa remains unstressed the entire time. Oh. It, it has reached the end of our sound changes, and it's unstressed. And what our sound changes tell it is that it must be deleted. So, I mean, that would, in, in effect, it would just be this, right? Yes. Yes, it would. Um, now, uh, with this stressed version, what we're starting off with is, can I, can I do this? No, I can't. Um, Sec. And I don't mean to bold and italicize that. This is essentially the, the, the difference we're working with here. This sequence stressed, this sequence totally unstressed. I mean, it's a it's a big difference here because this this vowel ah right it's a strong vowel nothing happens to it, um, so it's there whether it's stressed or not. Um, we don't have to worry about these things being long. It's at the end of a word. <gasps> it's at the end of a word. But of course, at the end of a word, um, schwa just drops out anyway. Right. Uh, but do let me look really quick to what happens to carrot at the end of a word. Carrot becomes ugh at the end of a word. Um, and so what we could say is if we're treating this as still at the end of the word, we could just say, all right, the schwa becomes an uh when it's unstressed, but because it needs to be there. But this thing becomes an uh. Okay. So that's one option where we're kind of playing with this thing being at the end of a word, but for whatever reason, retaining a vowel here. Or 
we could go with the option that, that you suggested, um, which is, come on, um, this. So we, we still have this thing. We're not pretending like this thing is at the end of the word. It's stressed, it's powerful, it destroys this vowel. And these, at the word edges, result in that. So this is, let me um, delete these, because I we're not going, we're not going to do without a vowel anymore. That's basically dead, right? Is it? <laughs> I thought so. I thought so too until we ran into this. <laughs> But here we go, call this uh, scenario A, not that, and scenario B. And so what we have here, this is like treating it like we have the end of a word and also have some kind of random vowel insertion here, which we could, I guess. Schwa just, just shows up as an uh. And then this one is, uh, is just going by our sound changes. Are you leaning one way or the other, by the way? I am. Okay. Can you guess which <laughs> way I'm leaning? Let's wait for the vote. I don't want to sway anything. All right, here we go. Uh, go for it. A or B? We're basically looking at um, Kilkse versus Kirche, or Kilkse versus Kirche. Megan kind of likes B. Um, if it didn't end with a schwa, it would just be like with these ga. I mean, it just. Yeah, really, the, the only issue for, for these is the central vowels. We're, we're, we're talking about how we treat the central vowels. Uh, the rest of the vowels uh, are not an issue. The rest of the vowels are not an issue. Right. Luca wants B, and then Artsakh, me, Graham, Mata A, Sima B, Al A, Yuan, B. All right, we're five to four. Five to four what? A. Okay. No, five to five, doesn't matter. Oh, mm. bib won't be. Wow, there's eight B's, six A's. Mm. Oh, Mike went A. There's some strong divisions here. This is interesting. This went B. Ten to eight. B's in the lead. Right. Are you going to throw in your vote? This is what I'm going to do. I am going to, so first of all, yeah, I think, I think B is one. Um, to try to hope clarify things and maybe make uh, make folks feel a little better. Let's put it on like a non-crazy word. Um, because this one, it, the this ugh, is really throwing things off. What's throwing things off? Sorry. The uh, the main vowel is uh. This is this is what I want to gotcha. try. Gotcha. So you want something that ends in a schwa, 
Well, I'm just going to I'm just going to invent something. So You yeah, you have to cuz we don't have one. Yeah. I'm going to do it with um Oh right, and we're doing vowelful, not vowelless, right? So then I am going to do two um, things. No, Artok, I thought the same thing when he said that. It's like in this language, what non-crazy word do we have? Okay. Hmm. Wow. I don't understand how to interpret these results. Like, okay, so I, I, I created uh, I created two nonce words. Um, sorry. Uh, that would have been, you know, bond with a schwa and bond with a bardai. Now I'm wondering what the heck the normal forms would have been, so I'm just gonna do this. Don't worry about it. Um, the the relevant forms would be like exactly the same. Whereas over here. Wait. Right. No, no, no. Sorry. Um, Was that one supposed to go? Probably. Probably. But just stick with me here. Okay. Um, I just want to show everybody how they came out. So ignore that these are in A right now. This is how these forms came out. Both of them came out identical. And this one basically retained the the a uh, right, and in this one it completely lost it for both of them, and I have no idea why. That is a good question. So for treating it like the end of the word, it's no matter what it wouldn't. Although, wait, didn't the top one actually come out as an O and you just changed it because you were basically saying that? No, no, no. So this, this one, the issue is that the, this is just one syllable. Um, this is. This first part is one syllable. Uh, with this new one, the schwa is following, it's falling on the second syllable. So the, the, Which means there is no schwa because it's at the end of the word and it drops out. It should be, but of course what we got in the sound changes is both vowels are present and then no vowels are present, <laughs> depending on if it was a schwa or a barred I originally. Yeah, I have no idea doesn't, why the double bar Doesn't bar'd a barred I um, drop out when it's in an unstressed position at the beginning of a word? No. Uh, something oh, else. no, it's not at the beginning. It's yeah, it's something else happens to it. Okay. Maybe maybe we can take that into consideration because it actually is stressed. Uh, central vowels um, drift backward, so it should become ugh. Yeah, hmm. 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 What would happen if we gave that a stress, if we let it keep its stress? Uh, 
I don't know. What would happen? Um, this is what would happen. We'd end up with sequences like this. Um, okay. Um, at some point, and the vowels beforehand might or might not have stress. They w that wouldn't have stress, even though, hmm, that's not where stress is assigned. Why is that dropping out? This is so confusing to me. Why is this going from tur to kyus? Because the stress shifted. That's why, because the stress shifted, which it does. It shifts to the auxiliary. And if stress is shifting to the auxiliary, then it should here as well. But it doesn't here. Uh-oh. Have I dropped out or has Jesse dropped out? Can everybody no, still hear me? Okay, there we go. Now mm. I'm back. That was me. Okay. okay. Um, all right, so you wanted to know You were talking about like why does it even go to um kills originally? Is that mm. what you were asking? Thank you everyone for welcoming me back. I hate to suggest this, but now I'm thinking that forget A and B, they should it should all just go to U. It's to you. Okay. So I was going through the sound drills again to try to figure out. Um, and doing it that way, that would be the, is that the bar die that's going? Or are you just saying like as a combination, that's just what all of them will do? I just feel like it. This guy, this guy, because the stress is shifting to the. Except it doesn't there. Why isn't it there? Bansu. Why is it Bansu, and not Bansu? Because that's isn't where the stress because... would ordinarily be. That's where the stress would ordinarily be. <gasps> oh, oh. So it should be banulksa. Not banulksa, it should be banulksa. Because it goes to the heavy syllable closer yeah, to the end of the word. Huh? Okay, 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 okay. Um, and Graham is saying the difference between the schwa bardai and the double bardai is that the first bardai palatalizes the N, which puts the second bardai between two consonants, uh, with schwa and bardai both vowels stay. Yeah. So they aren't between consonants. Yeah. And then the inye gets the retroflex assimilated, so it covers up the palatalization. Got it. Which would have on him? Okay, okay. Now that I see how we're assigning stress to these uh, ultimately verbal compounds, that changes things. That changes things. 
So we're going to get a barred I that is stressed, and that barred I that is stressed is going to become U. And it is not going to lengthen. And so, Kyoto. So like all these would, would be the U? Not necessarily. Now this one, the stress, okay. the stress does shift to the end. Okay. And that's why it wouldn't go there, because it's not stressed. And the combination of the vowel that we're getting, the bardi and various things, As David is thinking, Graham is pointing out something for anyone who uses Lexergy that the stop at is very useful for debugging the rules. The what? Stop at. Oh, oh that's really cool. Look at that. How do you, what do you write? Do you just like write this name? I would imagine it's the name. It goes by the name. Let's try it out. Oh, there is no rule with that name. Oh, wait. Oh. No, you need to take out the. Uh, yeah, the, the... Well, that's cool. I like that. What right. a, yeah, what a great feature. Well done. Okay. Back to that. Um, okay, so this is for the um, stressed s forms. Let's, let's see... Uh, Result of we're gonna say that becomes that Manu Manu Manutsa 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 Hmm Oh crap Okay Okay Hold on Vana, Vana Elksa, 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 Okay, and then what is long what happens to long uh in our sound changes? Just stay uh, long, don't they? No. It becomes. How do we have words with long vowels then? We have a word with long ah. That's the only one that stays long. The other ones break. There we go. Have you seen our word for snow? F U U N. Oh dear. That's not right. And neither is that right. That's that is the wrong. Uh... Have you had a drawing that has um, this word in it? Snow. Yeah. Star. Oh, s snow. Yeah, of course I have. Uh oh. How you think I'm gonna have a word for snow and not do a drawing? Okay, so this is actually what it should be. I think there's actually multiple, in fact. 
Uh oh. So it's F U O N. Um, I'll change it on the English side. No, you won't. Yeah, I will. Oh, jeez. I got there faster. That's All what right. the thumbnails are good for. That's what the. Oh, yeah. Let me, um. No, that was the only one. That was the only one that had the issue. Of course. Of course it's the only one. The one that... Yeah. I wanted. Oh, Ox says... Uzwon as well. What? Which word? Uzwon? Oh, I see. The plural form of snow. Oh. Needs to change. I got it. Thank you all. <laughs> Minnie says Foon is just river possum. And... Yeah. And yes, you're right, Minnie. My my clan does speak a slightly different dialect. <laughs> okay, and then this one. Now we're having these things. Banakha, banakha, banak, banakha, banakha, banakha. These are probably banakha, banakha, banakha. Yeah, these are staying, I think. Mm-hmm. I guess that's just gonna be the map on it. Okay. Do we Okay. So these would um Vanessa, Vanessa, Vanessa. Are you Vanessa. Mm. Okay, there we go. Vanessa, Vanessa. Okay. Okay. So. Yes. Back to this one. This one will become <laughs> Kyoriksa. And this one will become Kyokha. Just like that. Okay. We can get rid of these fake ones. And we can get rid of this. And this. Alright. So do we do we actually have a negation strategy? Yes. Uh, give me just one minute. Discuss. And then he's got... Uh, stress. These. Gulksa. <laughs> and he's got... Her. Yes. We do. You know what that means. Yes, I do. <laughs> we have 18 minutes left. <laughs> and it's time. Whew. That was rough. That was rough. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Pink.
Goodness. Ugh. Uh oh, little piece, little piece. But I got it. Better find it. Mmm. 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 Oh. That was worth all of that. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Oh. That really hits a spot. Mmm. Yes, it does. Mmm. Go be go, and there's no time to come up with a slogan. Mmm. 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 Nice. Okay. Alright. So, we need to definitely make sure we put that, keep that yeah, somewhere for, important. For the time being. It also means that um, our tables need adding to. Mm -hmm. And yeah. they're probably not going to fit anymore. Mm -mm. No. I can see the distress on your face. Yeah. Mm, that's a bummer. I mean, aside from putting positive on top and negative on bottom in the same box. Uh, yeah, we can do that. We can do that. Um, let me see what would happen if we did this. I'm trying to think if we're going to have a, a negative non-finite form. Okay, it just becomes... Ugh, that's fine. It just becomes an L. Um, or an LH. Okay. So, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to add a column afterwards. And um, add a, a row below. And then we're going to scoot this little, this little guy over. And let's make that about yeah, yay big, I say. And then we'll plus, minus, um, don't we do that to the other table while you're doing that one, um, if you want to, yeah, like, boy, if you could do that, that would be a, that would be a big ol' help, well, the, the, uh-oh, you're disappearing again, Think. This one can't be on me, right? This was this one's this one's on her. I I'm back. Okay, that one's on you. That one's on you. Good. I'm, well, I think I may be gone again, but whatever. I'm no. just gonna. Use. No, I hear you. You're there. Can't you hear me? Yeah. Now I can. All right. Below. There we go. It had suddenly, like made the table do very bizarre things when I added a row. Mm. Uh-oh. What's up? Um. Did my video freeze? I don't know. Online it looks frozen. Okay, there we go. There but we go. We're moving again. Moving again. I'm also not the best judge because mine just keeps dying, so... Huh, interesting. Okay. Oh, yeah, you left the document for a minute. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let me see.
And then, uh, Are they all going to be ULH at the end? Um, no. no, no, no. Hold on a sec. Are all the non-finite forms going to be ULH at the end? No. Um, okay. wait, I mean, oh, I mean, no, wait. No, some of them are going to be, be OLH, aren't they? Uh -huh. But, um, what mostly, What is it yeah. going to be for Bond? Um, uh, yeah, yeah, that, that's correct, that's correct. And then we have these Greeks, uh, How much do you want red in the negative? Do you want it based on what's in the positive, like what changed from the positive to the negative, or do you want it from the original to the negative? From the original. Okay. And then, um... This is wild. My goodness. Also gonna do a little switch ski on the uh, fill here for the row. Not that dark. Mm -hmm. Let's do, um, what's that, B1, B1, let's do, um, um, something a little brighter than that, she, 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 mm, brighter than that, um, D, 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 mm, E, 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 why don't you, Make it like that light green color and then just change the transparency so that way it shows up like Nah, I like this. I like this. Alright. That's your chosen one? Yeah. Your your set? Yeah. Well now that's very light, isn't it? Maybe I should go back to D, 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 D. I'm going to let you play around with that while I try to figure out. The M would also do the same thing as the N, right? So, like, the negative form would be, like, non Q instead of... That is correct. Okay. Why are these things Except merged? What would happen to the... The Mo? Oh, it'd be the same. It'd be the same. Oh, that's why they merged. That's why they merged. All right. So, he's got Okay, he's got huh? And now to... Oh, the perfect just adds an R, right? Yeah. Yeah. Which is why you didn't need to check their forms. Yes. Wait, why is there a an accent mark over the U in Isgasur? It's supposed to be stressed on the final syllable when it ends at a consonant, right? Mm -hmm. I, that is a wonderful question, but that's how all of our charts are, and I feel like maybe we should wait before we remove it and figure out why it's there.
I mean, I get that, but it means like we're gonna have to add more asset marks if um, if that is the case. Um, hmm. At this. Oh, but then it doesn't have a. Never mind. So, do you want me to take out the accent marks over the use? Had we um, written up stress rules? I'm going to say probably not. Dang. I, I know where I have them written down. Oh, man. We didn't. Okay. Just a second. <laughs> nice been in. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, I did not write them here. Oh, I know where it was. Mm hmm Just that I'm finding. Because at one point, I was writing a post, and I needed to know how things were stressed. <laughs> Where did that tapping emoji come from? It's been there a while. They always did that. Every time you sneeze, they would do that emoji. You never saw that? Nice. Um... Oh, it may take me a while to find it. I know I wrote it down somewhere. We have six minutes. Do we want to talk about a poll or are we going to continue? Um, I don't think we're in a, we're in a place for a poll in terms of grammar. So I think that what we're going to do is just, uh, Keep going with the writing system. So I'll, I'll figure something out with that somehow. But I am pretty sure that our stress system is if it ends in a consonant, then it's stressed finally. If it's not, then it's stressed penultimately. In which case, we don't need most of these accent marks. I'm just gonna get rid of them because I'm so confident. I am so confident. Bam! Look at that. That makes things so much simpler. Now it's just getting to stress if it's the last vowel of the word because that's the only place it should be. Oh. Mm, 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 mm. Here, I'll fix this. Yeah. I'm still determined. I know I wrote about this, and this is going to bug me until I find out. That's cool. I'm just uh, changing your table here. <laughs> Why are you changing it? Got to do. Got to put in that assimilation. I. I did not, um, I did not finish the color changes because right. you kept changing your mind. So That's I right. I, 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 I did that too. I did that too. We're all, we're all good. Mm -hmm. All right. And that doesn't need one because W is a consonant. That doesn't need one. And that needs to be red. And that needs to be in. And that doesn't need a stress mark. Look at this. Look at how this is coming together. It's working. It's actually doing stuff. Ah, I love this. OK. Mm 
it out, we yeah. just need to make sure that table gets copied down over the old table. Yes, yeah, because these things are just here temporarily. I'm going to take care of that. Yeah, and we'll have some tables to update later. Oof. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why we did that. Um, well, hey, it just makes things a whole lot simpler. So we're all good. And I, I see where I wrote about stress affecting words, but I didn't actually, I know at some point I typed it out. There's a note or something somewhere that exists. I'll fix this too. All right. All good. All good. Okay, so. These look beautiful now. Oh. You happy? Yes. That's good. I am. Hey, David. He had to summarize the rules of stress in our language. What are they? Um, if it ends in a consonant, word final stress. If it ends in a vowel, penultimate stress. Can I make that noise I just made again? Which noise? What noise did I make? I make so many. You made a noise? <laughs> well done, Minnie. Well done. <laughs> okay, we now All right. have a sentence that says what happens with stress. Oh, well, isn't that nice? In the stress section. Let's go. Let's go see what that darling sentence says. I mean, it's not a full sentence. It was no. just like boom. Uh, you're gonna make me rewrite this. Okay. Where's that? Who was it? Who was it in Discord? Was it Mateus who had you had like four thousand words written or something, and you're like, and I don't even have very much described, and all I could think was, that's like David, <laughs> and I'm over here like bullet pointing it all out. <laughs> Uh, where there are exceptions, those vowels will be marked with an acute accent. E.g. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Good. Ooh, section on numbers below. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. It jumped straight to the numbers. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Um, good work. Good, good. We have a negation strategy. We're like done with our verb forms, right? Uh, the only thing we had left to discuss is passive. And right? That's where we need to pick up next time. Can I actually, can I change this red note to 325 and put passive? Please do. Please do. I like how I ask your permission. Hey, yeah. But I'm changing the document. Thank you. I think normally I just ask because if you, for some reason, yours always gets there first and we end up typing over each other. So. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, Mateus, but what do those 4,089 words describe? Are you just like, you've got like plural described in 4,000 words or is it? It's like the, the Borges story where there's a, a, you know, a guy who's written a, a novel that's like five million words that describes the uh, northeast corner of his desk. Nice. Yeah. I'm looking at the northeast corner of my desk. I don't think I have that many words. <laughs> that's true. It is Jesse's document. Don't ask permission. Your name is first. Okay. Damn Skippy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Perfect. Well, I'm feeling really good about this. Um, I will be... Um, 
it'll be a lot of fun to see how passivization ends up messing things up again. But like at the moment, our verbs are in a really good place, and uh, and yeah, maybe we'll try to change the rest of the tables. <laughs> be good. <laughs> should we do that off camera? Like, yeah. You know, should that be one of my projects this week? I think so. Yeah. Okay. I mean, in that, I don't want to do it, and you just offered, so. <laughs> Damn it. Yep. Shouldn't have done that. Cool. All right. But now it's on camera. Yep. Okay, that's it. Uh, that's it for this week. So next week, passives. And on the week after that, uh, who knows? <laughs> Sorry, I was reading the comments. Um, and Mateus, that seems like a good amount of stuff for 4,000 words. I think they are great. And yes, many. Um, that needs to go on a pillow somewhere. <laughs> Quote. <laughs> that is awesome. Um, yeah, it needs a big update, Evan. Um, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> um, okay. So, yeah, next week, passives. And passives will get decided. Did you see how I passivized that sentence? That's, that, that was really good. That was really good. Okay. Yeah, that was really good. Thank we all you. like it. Okay. Cool. Well, everybody, thank you for joining us. Uh, Stay grammar. Stay grammar. Stay grammar. Thank you. Aha, I beat you. There you go. All right. And uh, we will see you next week. Yay. Bye. <laughs>